thanks for joining us today for Pet Entertainment Television. I'm Dennis Rosiak. And I'm Mandy Maxwell. And we've got Gunner. Yes, this handsome boy. He's already even been on another TV show this morning. We wow. were down at Fox 59 first thing this morning. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but he is sporting a very flashy, uh, fantastic orange feather over here. <laughs> You'll remember last week we were talking about the event that we did at Head Case Salon called uh, Furry Friends and Feathers. Right. Where they were doing these fashionable little feathers in everybody's hair, people and dogs. <laughs> so we were on Fox 59 this morning to okay. show everybody how it was done. So Gunner's got his new fancy see uh, orange feather in and of course we're at dog days today sitting outside today because it's so beautiful in the shade well, I think um, that yeah and that's uh, one of the things too by being outside it's a beautiful day but also uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about GPS for your dogs and what capabilities are with GPS and uh, what benefits it might have lots of good information that was something that I never would even think about so you know, we're, like Dennis said, we're going to have some more information about that coming up. And just to give you a little bit more information about Mr. Gunner, yeah. he's just a baby. He, a big baby, <laughs> um, about seven months old. But I have to say, he really is, I, I know he's kind of overexcited right now, but he really is a well-mannered seven-year-old puppy. Um, seven we, month old. Or seven month old, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a big difference. Seven month old puppy. Yeah. And we think he's like a lab, lab mix, maybe, yeah. maybe some little shepherd. shepherd. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he is pretty well house trained okay. and he's already learning his basic commands. We've got a volunteer at the shelter that's kind of taken him under her wing. And okay. so she's been working with him every day and he does really well on a leash for being so young. This morning, Amazing. riding all the way down to Indianapolis, he never made a peep in my car. Wow. He sat in the back seat like a perfect gentleman. So he's <laughs> really a great guy. <laughs> Aren't you, buddy? Yeah, he's got a little bit of mouthing, but you know that's typical of pups, and yeah. so you just eliminate that, and, and it's easy to do. It. So, yep. what a what a great yep. dog! And <laughs> as we said, we're at Dog Days today, and it's nice to be here yep. and outside today. And thanks to Dog Days for sponsoring again the show. It's only the microphone. Yep, <laughs> <We> <laughs> they need might that. want that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And we have a busy weekend coming up, so um, I was just going to tell you real quick about one event that we've got going on, Okay. and then we'll fill you in on the others as, as we go. Okay. Um, there is an event called Rescues and Runways um, at the Hamilton Shopping Center this Saturday, which is the 27th, from 2 to 4. Uh, Maurice's um, clothing store over there, it's an event that they do every year, so they've got a runway set up, there'll be fashions for uh, people and their pets. Okay. We're going to be out there with a booth and some adoptable animals. Um, a portion of the proceeds will be going to the shelter, so they're going to have some other vendors as well, a silent auction, so um, come check us out at the Hamilton Shopping Center this Saturday the 27th from 2 to 4. Well, good. Uh, and we've got some more dogs coming, so stay tuned. Here we go. Please, please take me to Dog Days. Your dog will beg you to take him to Dog Days Playhouse and Retreat. It's loads of fun for your pet, and you'll have the peace of mind knowing he's in good hands. You can even peek in on what's happening at any time during the day with Doggy Web Camp. Whether you need Doggy Day Camp, boarding, grooming, or training, Dog Days give your pooch the pampering he deserves. Give us a call, 773-4500, or check us out on the web. Please. Okay, we're back and we've got Rosalie. Rosalie, and uh, see, she's sporting her fashionable feather that she uh, had yes. done this morning on Fox 59. <laughs> <laughs> and just so you know, they say that these can last for months. Oh, even, yeah? And the dog, they're so light that the dogs don't feel them in there, uh, so they don't really have a tendency to scratch them out or anything. So. Okay. Anyway, and this is Rosalie. She is one. So just a, a tiny little thing, I think. She's such a good size for somebody that doesn't really want a big dog, but doesn't really want like a little tiny dog. Um, yeah, and I think she's like 30 pounds only, right? Yeah, yeah. Pounds. Yeah, so very small. Yeah, and unfortunately she was an owner surrender. They had uh, too many too many pets. Uh, so, you know, they had to get rid of somebody. So, unfortunately, it was little Miss Rosalie. Now, Rosalie is also, I mean, she looks like a little fox, doesn't she? She does, <laughs> I know. She She's definitely got a spunky, fun personality, too. She and Gunner rode all the way down to Indianapolis and back in my car without an issue. Yeah. They've been best buds this morning. So, both of them, I, I would say, could go home with, you know, families with other dogs for sure. Okay. Um, yeah. So, tell us, Dennis, I'm interested in this whole GPS thing. And... Especially with her, because I noticed having her and Gunner out today, Gunner was more the kind of dog that sat by my feet. Right. He wanted to be right with me. Whereas she's kind of like Little Miss Independent, like, hey, 
I want to know what's going on, you know? I would maybe consider her to be more of the type that might like be sneak out and run off, you yeah. know? Well, it was kind of interesting because in the Dog Fancy magazine, which is the, um, uh, the latest issue, uh, they had an article that basically talked about GPS systems for your dogs. And so if you are a hunter, hiker, or someone who just goes on a lot of vacations and takes your dogs with you, you might need something like this. So they actually, uh, Garmin has a Garmin Astro, and uh, which actually can track up to 10 dogs. So it's uh, a collar basically that they wear and it has right. a transmitter and then you have a receiver. And so you can monitor, so if you're a hunter and you have a group of hunters that are with you and they all have their dogs, you can track the dogs. And um, it says it's uh, $649 uh, basically for the transmitter, receiver, and the collar. And then you have to buy additional collars, but it's a way of tracking and they can go up to nine miles away and be, and you can that, track. That would be great for, for hunters, you know, because we get so many dogs in the shelter that, you know, like that, that's what they do. They're, exactly. they're hunting dogs, but they go out and they never come back. And so it would be great for people to have something like that. And they have different models where they have one that's $249 from a company called Spotlight GPS. And basically that works with your iPhone or your Blackberry. So it's an application based that's awesome. product, which is kind of cool. And yeah. there there's a monthly fee of $14.99. Um, and then they have other ones that were listed here, but basically either iPhone or a transmitter that you would have, so uh, along with the receiver. And so you probably could just Google this and try oh, to yeah. find, you know, more information about GPS systems, but what a perfect way oh, to keep track of your Yeah, friends. well, like you were saying on the commercial break, for people that enjoy, like, hiking and doing things like that, even, you know, for families that camp or something, when you go off for the day and yeah. do your trails, that is actually a really cool idea. And it's not a training collar, it's but it's a tracking device. So, right. oh, cool. Keep track of your dog. Yeah, Especially awesome. if you think about it, if you have a hound or if you have a husky. I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> i got a coon dog. Right, so you know that when they get their nose to the ground, they're gone, or huskies, they're gone. So, yes. uh, boy, look at, look at her. Rosalie is just so entertained with some dogs coming out. She's checking out everybody. <laughs> and and well, another event that I want to quickly mention, um, kind of goes along with her little furry feather there if you need your hair cut, come see us this Saturday, the 27th. There is a gentleman named uh, Patrick Lomantini who owns a salon out in Wichita, Kansas, okay. and he is traveling across all 50 states. He's doing 50 haircuts in 50 cities in all 50 states in 50 days. Cool. So he will be in Indianapolis this Saturday doing 50 haircuts. Um, Chow Bella Salon on 82nd Street is going to host okay. him for the day. Um, I'm the contact person, so get on our website. There's a flyer on there. Um, you can contact me directly at 219-4630 or my email is mmaxwell at hamiltonhumane.com and book your haircut cool. for Saturday. Well, we've got another dog coming, so we'll stay tuned. Please, please take me to Dog Days. Your dog will beg you to take him to Dog Days Playhouse and Retreat. It's loads of fun for your pet and you'll have the peace of mind knowing he's in good hands. You can even peek in on what's happening at any time during the day with Doggy Web Camp. Whether you need Doggy Day Camp, boarding, grooming, or training, Dog Days gives your pooch the pampering he deserves. Give us a call, 773-4500, or check us out on the web, please. Okay, well, we're back, and we've got a little uh, a little uh, one <laughs> here that became a lap dog real fast, and yes. this is uh, Timmy. <laughs> Skinny mini Timmy. Yeah. Although I, I did hear uh, one of the girls here say that that his nickname is Timmy Tippy Toes because he prances around on his tiptoes. <laughs> so whatever you want to call him, he's cute as cute as a button, um, and he is staying here at Dog Days. Um, you know, he was one of those dogs that came into the shelter and was totally stressed out yeah, and just yeah. not handling that environment well, just totally overstimulated and just, you know, just not doing good. So um, Dog Days was kind enough to bring him in over here where he's been going to doggy daycare several hours every day. Okay. And they report that he is doing just absolutely fantastic. So loving the life at Dog Days. Um, and he is about 11 months old, so he's still young, you know, so he's yeah. got a little bit of growing to do. And of course he still needs, still needs training and yeah. some work. If you want um, something to look over your shoulder, yeah. this is the one. <laughs> and he's just such a love bug. He really is. Oh yeah, my goodness. Such I think a good so. Boy. And uh, it, you know, as you said, uh, sometimes the the shelter environment can be a little bit stressful, and so uh, this is one that you know clearly 
you know, this guy is a great dog, oh. and it will do well in a home and everything, but uh, what else? I mean, I wish you could see his eyes, because his <laughs> eyes say it all. I mean, yeah. they're so sweet and gentle, and he really is a good dog. And, and, you know, don't forget about the other dogs that are here at Dog Days right now. It's just Timmy and another dog named Cashmere. Um, but, you know, thankfully, we've got Dog Days that's able to take these guys in that are super stressed out, and yeah. over, you know, worked up at the shelter. So, um, you know, stop by here, or if you want to make an appointment, you can let us know, and, and we can let Dog Days know that you'll be stopping by to visit Tim here, Cashmere. We'll try to get Cashmere on the show for you guys next week, but um, what a great boy. Yeah. So, Mandy, tell us a little bit about our event this past yeah. weekend. Yeah, so we were telling you last week that we had a fundraiser at Moondog Tavern over on 96th Street, and the band Lemon Wheel played live on Saturday night, and it was a great event. Um, we had a silent auction, uh, we had some adoptable animals there, and we raised nearly $4,000 wow. from that yeah. event. So. And this was all for medical needs, right? For right. Dogs? Yep. Uh, it, it's called our Survivor Fund. Right. Um, so that Survivor Fund was set aside um, so that... Um, any money um, for animals that need surgery or treatment or anything like that, ones that keep getting sick over and over, um, all the money goes into the survivor program so that we can pay for them. So that's what the event was for. So okay. all of that $4,000 is going to go directly into our survivor fund to help pay for animals that are sick or yeah. injured. So it really was a fantastic event. So if you're watching and you came, thanks so <laughs> much because we, we couldn't do it without the support from the community. Absolutely. And it was a fantastic evening and everybody had a good time and all the dogs had a good time. They we did. had probably what, seven, eight dogs yep, out there. Yep, it was fantastic. So, well stay tuned, we have their kitty coming. We'll be back. Please, please take me to Dog Days. Your dog will beg you to take him to Dog Days Playhouse and Retreat. It's loads of fun for your pet and you'll have the peace of mind knowing he's in good hands. You can even peek in on what's happening at any time during the day with Doggy Webcam. Whether you need doggy day camp, boarding, grooming, or training, Dog Days gives your pooch the pampering he deserves. Give us a call, 773-4500, or check us out on the web, please. Well, we're back, and Mandy, uh, we're kind of uh, doing something we've never done before, right? It's an interesting day today, being that we're outside. So I do have a leash on Captain Tyler, because yes. I just want to make sure, you know, he came in as a stray, and yep. I would never forgive myself if something happened to this sweet little guy on our show. So I've got a leash on him just to be extra precautious, but he's actually, I mean, now he's kind of calmed down just a little bit. It's kind of scary out here though, I know, but. Yeah, I think he feels a lot, uh, a lot more comfortable now. Yeah, and th but this handsome boy, his name is Captain Tyler. Okay. And like I said, he did come in as a stray, so he's been with us for a couple of months now. Um, now he's FIV positive. He right? is FIV positive, and I know we've had a couple of cats on the show in the past few weeks um, that, that have that same condition. and. We're really trying to educate our community right now and spread the word about FIV because it's not a bad thing. Right. You know, um, if you have FIV cats at home, I should back up. Um, FIV is um, feline AIDS. Right. It's just uh -huh. like AIDS in humans. It's passed, you know, um, through um, sexual transmission or through the saliva if they were to get in a fight and bite each other or something right. like that. So, um, but with routine vaccines, and them being indoor cats only, they can live just as long as any other cat. So and, it's and not- And you can have multiples with FIV, yeah. but you need to keep them separate if you had cats that were FIV. Right? Exactly, so FIV cats can go live with other FIV cats or dogs, it's not contagious to, okay. to dogs or to humans. Um, but what you wouldn't do is have, you know, an FIV cat with a cat that, that doesn't have FIV. Right. So, um, and we've got tons of these babies right now at the shelter. So, you know, please come in and, and, and give one of these guys a home. And he seemed pretty cool with the cat, uh, with the dogs that we yeah. have today, right? Yeah, he they got a little wound up in my car there just a few minutes ago, and he was just like, ah, okay, whatever. So, yeah. Well, why don't we talk a little bit about another event that we've got going on this yes, Sunday. Yes, I'm telling you, it's a busy weekend. Yes, and Captain Tyler says to come to Eddie's Fancy Feast. Um, this Sunday, uh, we're doing three different dinner times, 5, 6, and 7 p.m., and we will be at Eddie's uh, Corner Cafe, which is right downtown on the square in Noblesville. Okay. Yep. And it's going to be um, a spaghetti dinner, and you get salad, dessert, drinks, everything, and it's only $20 per person. 
and all of the proceeds go to the shelter to help us continue to care for all these babies. Yeah, and I see they have uh, lasagna too, so oh, spaghetti yes. and lasagna. Spaghetti and lasagna. We'll have vegetarian entrees available as okay. well. We're going to have celebrity um, servers, so you don't want to miss that. I think we've got... Um, the mayor, I can't even remember everybody. Uh, Patty we've Spittler got, is going to be there. Patty right? Spittler will be there. Yeah, so we've got lots of celebrity servers. So, cool. And it will be a, um, t a contest to see who makes the most tips. All right. So tip big and come <laughs> see us at Eddie's Fancy Feast this Sunday. You can buy tickets at the shelter. Cool. Well, we've got one more segment coming. Yep, we'll be back with Where Are They Now? Please, please take me to Dog Days. Your dog will beg you to take him to Dog Days Playhouse and Retreat. It's loads of fun for your pet, and you'll have the peace of mind knowing he's in good hands. You can even peek in on what's happening at any time during the day with Doggy Web Camp. Whether you need Doggy Day Camp, boarding, grooming, or training, Dog Days gives your pooch the pampering he deserves. Give us a call, 773-4500, or check us out on the web. Please? Okay, we're back, and it's our favorite favorite section. Yeah, and uh, let me tell you, it was a good week. We've cool. got lots of updates for you got guys. It. Starting with uh, last week, we had Loki on, the big white boxer. The beautiful boxer. And he's been adopted. All right. Off into his new home. We had Oscar. Uh, yes, uh, finally. I'm so happy for Oscar. And the coolest thing is he went home with a family that has adopted from us before. Okay. And they took two puppies. Right. So four dogs, four acres of land, one big happy family. Good. Yep. And we had a really good one, Miss Princess. Oh my gosh. Princess has waited nearly three years to find her forever home. Amazing. And oh. she got adopted by a football coach from Noblesville High School. Wow, that's uh, fantastic. Yeah. He uh, took her took her fishing down to Brown County on Wednesday, I think it was, wow. and posted a little video on her Facebook page of <laughs> Princess Fishing. So she, I, I think this is going to be her forever home, so we're so excited. Ah, uh, another super one. It is a good week. Sheldon, our boy yeah. Sheldon, you remember we had him on several, couple months ago, uh, the, the eight-year-old um, wow. Yellow Lab, and he is with his new family now. He is awesome. Yeah. Cool. And then we had, um, let's see, uh, I think we had everybody else on here already. Yep. So we got to talk about some that have not. Yes, of course. That list is always too long. Yeah. But we had um, Conlon on a couple of weeks ago. He was our uh, like pointer pointer mix. Yeah. Um, he's still available and at the shelter. We had Bronson, who's our hound. Uh, Little hound puppy. Hound. I don't know why he's yeah. still there actually. Yeah. He's so really a good dog. Yeah. So he's still available for adoption. We had Dominic, which was uh, on last week's show, and Dominic is our chocolate uh, little pit mix. Yep. And he is still available. Yeah. So um, you know, come in and check out Mr. Dominic. Uh, we had Harley. Harley is still available for adoption. Several of them are. We had Maximus, Maximus. which I can't believe either because Maximus again is our golden yeah. retriever kind of a mix. But, yep. Uh, what a great dog and is still there. Yep. Um, we have Randall, of course. Randall, Randall. Yep. He's, you know, now he's over a year with us. And then yeah. Star as well. She was our um, deaf a uh, little white pity that we had on several weeks ago, so she's available as well. And we have Pacer is still there, and you know now Pacer and Pearl and uh, you know and Randall are probably going to the water. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We have another one named Sahara that's been there. Those four are probably pushing the longest at the shelter. So okay. come and see those guys. We still have Molly. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you remember Molly, the little black and white pity with the with fun the ears. ears. Yeah. yeah, she's yeah. still there as well. We got Lulu. Lulu's still there, so come and see her. And uh, then we had, uh, let's see, a couple in, uh, oh yeah, we had Dash. Right? Uh, Dash and Abby both, yep. who you'll remember were seeing here at Dog Days. We've kind of flopped them out for Timmy and Cashmere. Okay. Um, so Dash and Abby are both back at the shelter and available for adoption. And we have a couple of dogs in foster. We're taking care of Dakota, so right. that was the St. Bernard again. Right, and then we had Buddy and Rocky, uh, the last a terrier little uh, duo yep. and they are in foster as well and I think Rocky is almost done with his heartworm treatment so he should be good to go anytime soon yeah so, let's talk about the kitties how are we doing with the kitties just a, you know just a few are still on our list of ones that are still at the shelter um Jamie who we had on sitting with us last week I know we That's showed right. a lot of cats last week but he was with us in our laps and if you'll remember he was the one that used to be a feral cat That's and right, now yeah. he's Mr. Lovebug so come get Mr. Jamie yeah, and uh, Pepe Pepe was on yep. a couple of weeks ago and he's still available for adoption as well so okay. lots of babies that went out but lots of babies that still need home so come and see us
Well, thanks for joining us today and stop up to the shelter and look at all the great dogs. Okay. And we'll be back next week. Bye.